Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Quasimorph, shall we? Picking up where we left off here on the first floor of the Civil Resistance base. Now, I'm walking around, you see that there's a rib lying on the ground, and that's just, hey, Quasimorph, baby, there's just going to be human body parts sometimes lying around. It's not to be understood, but there's an employee ID. I will go ahead and take that. Uh, it is worth mentioning that when you mouse over this, you see how it says rib, and then you see how it says left click to walk over and take it, but then you can control left click to go. What does that mean? That means like if you want to stand someplace, but you don't want to loot the item. So I can control click and I won't pick up the rib. I won't take any time. I won't do that, but I can go there. Now, this barrel is filled with fuel, which could kill us. But something you can do is you can actually um, go ahead and left click on it. Don't shoot it. Left click on it. And then you'll notice that inside there's gasoline. Now you could pick this up if you want gasoline, but you can also just take this out like left click and then drag it away to just empty it onto the ground and then what happens is this barrel should not explode if somebody shoots it okay here comes the bad guy just gonna kind of wait now uh <laughs> something i do also want to explain is in many roguelikes that i'm used to with my instincts i can back into a hallway and just wait, and the enemies will come to me. The, en the enemy AI in Quasimorph is actually pretty good, and they will stay in cover. So they won't just wander out most of the time to get shot. So I'm going to have to d actually move down here and shoot that guy. And he's gone. And there's an eyeball lying down here. Don't ask why, there just is. Okay, so this trainee does have cover behind the barrel, but our shotgun just takes down the barrel and them. Most of the people around here, they're like new recruits to the Civil Resistance, so they stink. So just one shotgun shell should be fine for them. If you see that they're wearing armor, then you can up it. But like, if you see that they're just in regular clothes and they have like a shank, just use one shell and it'll do just fine. Disassemble, disassemble. Um, okay, so there's human flesh. You can trade in human skin, and you can eat it, but it obviously boosts your quasimorphosis. I don't personally eat human flesh, uh, but there are some builds or benefits, I believe, if you want to go that route. I just don't. Doesn't, doesn't seem like something that's what I want to do. Okay, there's a um, printed circuit board and a wrist. So printed circuit board is something we could trade. So now we can actually start thinking about how do we prioritize stuff. Well, I have my survival stuff. And I have my ammo. I have my crafting stuff. And now I have to think, what about my making, my money making stuff? Okay. I have plenty of armor plates. At the ship. And none of my armor actually repairs with that anyway. So I'm going to start just trying to take some things to make money for us. And when I say, I'll use the phrase make money, but really what I mean is like trade goods just to try to get boards and stuff. Uh, okay, so we found some sorbent, which is very good. And then a snick pick, which is like a candy bar. Just eat it. Right click, eat. Sweet. And what's on the ground here? The wrapper um, from the candy bar. Plastic. Um, this is good. Heals infection. Heals poisoning. Very nice. But we have antibiotics, so we're okay. We don't really need that. Now, what's nice is if I disassemble this, I will just automatically pick up everything that I have a stack for. So I can do that. And I can then even just repair um, anything that's applicable like that. Now nah, that's good. Okay. Now, you know what? I was just going to walk around forever, but I don't need to. Oh, let's test this, by the way. Go back here. Turn around. So you see I shot that barrel and it did not explode because I took the gasoline out of it. Uh, so that is a nice thing to do to avoid dying. Now, I'm going to just click right to the staircase from all the way over there. Get myself over to it. 
warehouse is. Okay. And we can pick up this food. Now, this Chick Chick is just a bag full of synthetic chicken. Delicious. You'll notice it's now time to actually talk about satiety. We haven't had to worry about it. My hunger bar is halfway. I'm at 900 out of my 1800. So this will give me, um, you know, 400-ish. Help fill me up. Let's do it. I like to eat whenever I find it. Just keep myself topped off. Now, here's a bad guy. They're not aware of me. Oh, there's two of them. Burst fire. Aww. All right, they died from bleeding. Oh, okay. All right, I need to reload. They're all dead. Back to single fire. Okay. And, uh, you know. Gross. Okay, so they actually have a helmet here, which I'm going to wear instead of my gas mask. This helmet, this work, working helmet for a miner, it doesn't have as good a poison resistance, but it has some. It also resists fire, beam, cut, and blunt. It does not resist uh, pierce, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to just change this up. And uh, this is what will repair this. Okay, the plates will fix that up. Wonderful. There's a glass bottle. Corpse bodybuilding level three. Now we're talking. All right, speaking of food, here's some food. Eat. And you know what? Oh, never mind. I'm like, I'm hurt. I got tricked because my max health is only 110 with Victoria. It's higher with my other dude. I'm not actually that hurt. It looks like I am, but I'm not. So I, um, Francis has more hit points, so I was confused. But no, we're okay. All right. I'm going to wait for this person. Just pushing spacebar to wait. Until they're in a good range. Just wait. They have a melee weapon. So they're just walking over to me. I'm just staying in cover in case there's anybody else. Just going to push R, spacebar, spacebar, reload. And this is a what? Submachine gun. That's nice. Fixes blunt weapons. Does the short pipe. Well... I don't have that at the moment. And I can't fit any more 9mm bullets. That's fine. Uh, this guy has some soda. Let's eat it. Now he also has these working pants. So these are an upgrade to our armor. You can see they don't have pierce, but they do everything else better. And they do poison. So I'm going to switch it up like that. And I'm going to just take these apart. These boots... Uh, meh. Not that great. Alright, anything we want to fix here? Fix that. Uh, okay. Nope. Nope, nope. Okay. Ah, you know, I went over to the container. I was like, what's here? It's a human ear. That's great. That's just great. Okay. So this guy came out and shot us twice, but missed twice. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead. If I look at them, you see they have some sweet stuff on. I want all of this. Glory helmet, better armor. Um, so they're going to be a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to switch over to burst fire mode. And give them, you know, a couple of blasts. 
they're gone. I'm going to reload. So it is worth looking. I'm down to only 59 bullets with my shotgun, which is why I brought a second weapon. Now this guy, what do you got? They have a nail gun. They're not good. So we can just easily kill them. Now, uh, I want all of this stuff, but I want to be care make sure that there's nobody that's going to try to run in and kill us. I don't see that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to just upgrade all of my armor. I personally like wearing heavy armor. So this thing, it does not resist poison. It does not resist fire or beam, but it does resist pierce, blunt, and cold. It's just better armor against bullets. It's not good against and melee stuff. It's not good against poison, but that's okay with me. I'll take that exchange because poison is less frequent, and I do have um, some antibiotics. So now I'm going to wear all this stuff. This is a nice weapon. Uh, we can go ahead and disassemble it. Disassemble. Just break all this stuff down. I'm, I'm not going to use it. I am going to take these bullets. I love these bullets. What am I going to drop? Uh, yeah, I'll drop this water. I brought more medical supplies than I needed just to be, because I was being very cautious, but that's okay. It's better to be cautious. I'm going to go ahead and repair um, these and repair those. Get that going. We could take these bullets. Um, we will repair the helmet. There. There. Okay. So this guy's got the nail gun going. <laughs> Delightful. Bathrooms. Okay. So this goes down that ladder. That's probably where we want to go. But they did say that there was a med bay here. So I'm going to just investigate a little bit further. See if there's anything else I want. Uh, makeshift batteries. So you can use these, uh, I think, to recharge stuff. I'll take this. Instead of this thread. Anything else here? Not really. Okay. All right, moving over here. All right, there's a baddie down there. I'm going to move into cover behind this wall. And hit him. Hit him. Dead. So I still fire even though they're outside the maximum range. Because I know it reduces accuracy, but it's okay. Also, sometimes they'll, it'll look like there's red in the way. But because of the angle um, of the shotgun for the scatter and the spread and everything, sometimes you can just... Oh, I'm reloading. This is uh, awkward. I have to push spacebar and spacebar. Okay. Luckily, that person's terrible. Anybody else coming from over there? They were just running at us with like a lead pipe and tank top jeans um this is a turret if we want that i don't um quad damage this is a drug these boots are really good you know um for poison fire and stuff it's okay do i want um i don't really need any of this stuff it's Nice, but my inventory is getting crowded. And you're going to notice that a lot when you're on missions. Your inventory will get crowded. Okay. I am being a little bit more exhaustive on this floor. There's not much here. Tactical pistol, cool.
don't need it. All right, here we go. So we found some workbenches. So these you can use to craft stuff when you're in the field. So what I could do, and unlike when you're on the ship, you could craft them instantly. So I can make, for example, a splint. And I can make, you know, five splints. Um, and I can make bandages. And I can make, you know, six of them. You can also make a basic backpack. Um, and some of these other items here. Okay. So I picked up as much as I could. And so what I'm going to do is drop these and pick up these instead. And I'm going to drop these makeshift batteries and just pick up these splints. Just have some backup medical supplies. Here we go. Antibiotics. Awesome. Auto dock. Now we need to charge that up. Um, this uh, data miner is a terrain scanner. You can use it to... Um, I'll show you. Look at the map. There's some unexplored areas. You just pick these babies up, right-click, use. And now the entire map, you can see it's already filled in for me everywhere. So it just shows you the map of the whole level. Um, this it, defibrillator is a medical device. Um, I'm going to take this. This is something you could sell. So, it's better than two plastic. And there's some more workbenches. Honestly, is there anything I need? Now that I can look around, is there any place I'm like, oh god, yeah, go there? Or do we just go to the next floor? I think we just go on. This is fine. Finally, you're at the SD Control Center. It's full of civil resistance fighters. A bioscanner is registering spikes in their endocrine systems. It's madness. Maybe there's a way to bypass them. Pay attention to the technical corridors and ventilation shafts. If you picked up heavy weaponry from the warehouse, you shouldn't have many problems. Once you find the PCO control computer, just destroy it with whatever's at hand. Okay. So, I'm getting really hungry, and I'm going to go ahead and just eat. That's why you bring food. I try to save the food that I've brought until the end, and just eat what's on hand. And I bring something that takes up very little inventory space, but is high in calories, so I can use my inventory space for other things. Because you see, it gets, I mean, filled up so easily. I'm going to switch this, by the way, so that I have more bullets uh, on my mag vest instead of in my backpack if I need to reload. Alright. And this is a Brigadier, so let's right click on them. See what they've got. See their armor, their resistances. So they have the People's Front medium armor. Um, not bad. They also have a Marksman's rifle. A little bit scary. And what's this? A chain blade. And some rusty parts, indeed. So they are getting um, cover from this server station. So what do we do? Do I move in? First of all, I'm going to switch to burst fire. Do I move in on this guy? I think so. Ouch. Some wounds can be infected... To prevent this, use an absorbent or antibiotics. Yeah, so we got hit right away, but we only got hit for three damage, and a lot of that's because of our armor. Now, I am going to just shoot this person, um, and that's... The server station is what we needed to blow up anyway, so that's finishing the mission. Great job. Pilots began maneuvers as soon as the geoscanner beeped at the rogue city guns died. Mission accomplished. Request evacuation and return to the nearest elevator. So we could finish this... 
but I'm going to finish this. Man, this person is not dying. What's your health at? Okay, no, they're really hurt. Almost any weapon consumes ammunition and needs to be reloaded. Avoid doing this in the midst of battle because you become vulnerable during the reloading process. Try to find cover. Right. So we could reload, or I could push S to just switch over to my gun, my pistol. Bam. And now they're dead. And let's switch back here and reload. Okay. Let's deal with our wounds. H. What happened? We got fractured. Okay. So we're going to just apply a splint to the arm. And we're going to uh, use the antibiotics. So the infection is gone. We got a splint on the arm. And we're doing much better. We can use the scanner. But you see how it says 0 out of 3 active systems. So if I, it doesn't do anything if I use it. Because there's no active systems. I'm going to walk over here. Um, insulating tape. That's fine. But no, we're going to search this person. Because what we want to do is... We can take this big gun. Right here. This marksman's rifle if we wanted and we could also you know take their armor now their armor is better at resisting fire beam and cut than what we have but it's our blunt and pierce is better with our armor so actually we probably want to keep what we have this is really good against fire though and beam stuff so it's you know worthy of consideration but I like just being good against bullets at the moment. And I'm going to walk over here. Get away from that fire. Now, you see how this is flashing? We can just request evacuation whenever and just get to an elevator and be good. But I'm going to be a little bit greedy. Oh, hi. I'm going to go back. I'm going to reload. And I'm going to switch to single fire. Okay. Okay. Just walk around, see if there's anything that we want to pick up. I'm also looking for an elevator on this floor. Now, if we don't find one, we can just take the steps back out. Look at that, bodybuilding up. You're darn right the bodybuilding went up. I've been building my body all day. All right, we can craft. Don't really need to right now. So I'm walking, I'm covering a lot of ground. When I'm walking right here, here's a splint we can pick up. And here's an elevator right here. So we can use this to request evacuation. But because I'm kind of in the victory lap, I'm just going to walk around and, you know, we can use this to fix some armor if we want. Or we could pick it up and keep it. There's some food that we could eat. Fill us up. Just keep exploring. See if there's anything that we want. Killed a couple of... You know... Civil activists because... Uh, I'll eat that. I don't even need it. We're getting revenge for the attack on the ship. Shouldn't have done that. Indeed. All right. They're not really guarding anything good. They do have some Moo Moo synthetic beast, uh, beef. I'll eat that, sure. All right. So then, let me look around. You know, this area I haven't explored, so we can walk all the way over here. If we'd like. Yep, bad guy. Just gonna walk over here, get a better shot. There you go. Need to reload. Mm-hmm. Now, I might want to get that rifle. Oh, great. Got some shotgun shells. Fantastic. I 
looks like you can't craft um, ammo at that workbench, so it's only certain recipes. Too bad. Oh boy. So I did burst fire on that guy, and we got hit in the chest, but it's just a scratch because of our armor. So what, you, what did you have here? You had a, just a regular mag vest, but they had a nice shotgun. So cool. So we'll take that, and um, we're going to go ahead and unload the ammo and disassemble that. And that's awesome. By the way, you look the condition of our shotgun, it's almost broken. So just by, you know, shooting things as we move through, we've pretty much busted up our gun. We did get some more bullets here. Whoa, I did not mean to drop it. I meant to put it on my mag vest. There we go. There's some antibiotics. Take it. Uh, take everything you can. That scanner is useless. There's some nails. Wah, wah. Okay. So then I am going to go back to uh, the guy by the server crates. Over here. Okay, and we're going to do this, and let's go ahead and pick up all this stuff. So, when I'm looking and evaluating what I have, I don't need this. I will take this, and I don't need any more... F well, I don't want to waste the food. Uh, I'm going to get rid of one stack of 9mm bullets, and one stack of splints. Now, I'm going to just go ahead and disassemble the bullets to give myself a bunch of powder for later, and then we're going to pick up this gun and take it back. Okay, so I'm happy with my inventory. I'm going to go stand in front of the elevator here. Oh, we can go down here. Do I want to? Sure. Oh, God. We broke this thing. Do not step on the green. You will regret it. Uh, there's some jeans. Okay. Another medical room. Morphine. Uh, medical components. We can sell that. Well, okay, fine. I just wanted to check it out. You can see that the green dangerous tile eventually just evaporates, goes away. Here we go. Now, I'm going to push T. The Missile Defense Control Center has been successfully destroyed. We can evacuate. Evacuate. Good job. Go back to the elevator. We'll pick you up. Okay, so now you can just go to the elevator, and once you've called her in and you've completed the mission objectives, and you can evacuate, then you get this button for evacuation. You just do that, and she choppers in. You not only took all the valuables, but also patched up... Um, oh, we not only took the valuables, but also patched up the holes from the boarding shuttles. In Rogue City, we had everything we needed for that. Boss, we also found a PCPU with a database belonging to the Incom Corporation. There's a lot of information about quasi-morphosis research, they are willing to generously compensate for our expenses in return for such valuable intellectual property. But of course, we made a copy of all the data from their device. Wink, wink. I like how you think, Jane. Their agent is ready to meet us in the Rebus Sky City in orbit of Mars. So, um, what we can do is click Unload All. If you want, uh, I don't actually like to do that. But you can go down. And anything that's a plus is something new. So we got this secret data. 
So anything that has that plus is like part of the reward, basically. Uh, we got a backpack, some bullets, some grenades. What else did they give us? Is that it? All right. Now, I'm going to put away a lot of this stuff. And I'm doing it manually. You're like, why would you do that? I'm doing it manually because... I don't want to have to do my loadout again, if that makes any sense. Like, I want to keep most of this stuff as my loadout for this character. I don't feel like we have to carry that. And we definitely don't need that many bandages. So that looks good. Okay, this is good. This is much better. So we're going to finish the mission. And you can see how... Um, these are restricted so these turned red because these are civil resistance and civil resistance hates us which is not the end of the world and here um we can go to the systems map and in front of you there's a map of the solar system here you can see which missions are available in different areas and how much time it'll take to travel from one point to another right now to deliver the pcpu with quasi-morphic research to ancom we need to go to mars so they want us to go to Mars to do that, which I don't really need to do that at the moment, um, but that's something we can do. Now, I'm going to go to the spacecraft, and I'm going to start crafting. What do we need? We need shotgun shells, and I need, like, all of them. So I'm going to say, make as many as you can. Um, and it's going to take a long time to do that, but that's okay. And I uh, go ahead and sort everything. How many 9 millimeters do I have? Actually, not as much as you'd think, but that's okay. We'll try to get some more crafted as we load up okay and is there any trading that we can do with these people we do have the secret data uh, which we can exchange with uh, sunlit coven and we're definitely going to do that so i'm going to give them the ancom well wait a minute Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm going to save it. I'm going to do the mission first. I'm just going to make sure. I don't know if I can sell the copy or if I need to give it to Ancom and see what they have. And you can always see, well, what's Ancom give? Stock exchange, Ancom. Ancom uh, will give us potentially some item chips and uh, we can, you know, get a shotgun or something like that. So this is fine. So their rewards are fine. Uh, they also have some um, nine millimeter ammo. That's fine. All right, great. Well, I think this is a good place to end this episode of our Beginner's Guide to Quasimorph. I hope you are enjoying this series and finding it to be helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below, and I'll check in the next one. Take care.